Salaam Alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. But someone put in the diacritical marks instead of alamun ein alif, lam alif, nun dama, alamun, put ilmun instead of alamun, ein kesra, a page. So they make it. وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّعَةِ So someone did some, you know, dal me kuch kala hai. Someone did that with these diacritical marks. And this is wrong. I'm saying that human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. Maybe it was done deliberately. Maybe it was done accidentally. Every single student of knowledge knows who studies Ulum al Quran that the most difficult topics are Ahruf and Qiraat. And the concept of Ahruf and the reality of Ahruf and the relationship of the Rahmanic Mus'haf with the Ahruf and the preservation of the Ahruf is it one, is it three, is it seven, and the relationship of the Qiraat to the Ahruf. This is a topic that when you're the beginning, beginning student of knowledge, you're like, what is all of this going on here? When you go a little bit more, you learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out. And you don't fully comprehend. When you do a deep dive is when things get very, very awkward and difficult. And this isn't new. This is from the time of the Sahaba. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. The issue of Ahruf and Qiraat caused confusion to somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubay. Ubay is not some even average Sahabi. He is the Qari of the Quran. He is the master. He is who he is. And he goes, Fadakhal fi nafsi shak. Like, what is all of this stuff? The Quran is called Al Furqan, that which distinguishes between right and wrong, between truth and falsehood. If you had this book, you wouldn't be involved in same sex marriage. If you had this book, you would know what is morally acceptable to God and what. God rejects, and you would know the gray area which the righteous should not wander into if you had this book. For this book is Al Furqan. If you had this book, it would be Al Dhikr, the reminder or a source of eminence and glory to mankind. See, if you had the book and understood it more, we would be raised from ignominy to eminence with just a fair understanding. This book is called Al Mawiza, the admonition. Because this book admonishes us on the things that are right and the things that are proper and the things that represent good manners, courtesy. This book, 
This book is called Al Hukum, the judgment. Because in this book, God delivers his decision against this and that and for this and that. So when you know what is written in this book and better yet have an understanding, you are armed with good judgment. Ishtihad. Mm -hmm. It is Al Hikmat, the wisdom. You can't be a fool and read this book and have even a fair understanding of it. Nobody will be able to make you a fool again with this book in your hands. Could it be that the enemy knows the value of this book and that's why it's hidden from the eyes and ears of the common people of America? This book is Al Shifa, the healing. Look at all the diseases spiritually that afflict us and physical diseases, but the cure is in this book. Oh, we should pray, not for knowledge, but for understanding more understanding of this book. Al-Huda. It is that which guides or makes one attain the goal. It is called Al-Nur. The light. Here's a people that walk in darkness, grows darkness to people. What do you need? We need the light, but not a book without a man. We need a light-giving sun that will illuminate for us the wisdom of the book. It is al haq It is the truth. Oh, brothers and sisters, this book belongs to you. Yes, sir.